Um, I did want to touch as well on, on Tottingham because you won. So it feels like the first time in a while you beat Palace. You battered Palace, as it were. Um, talk to me. Talk to me, Patrick. Oh, uh, yeah. Feeling good, man. It's been a long time coming. Um, we needed that. I was worried. I mean, I thought we'd beat them, as I said in the thing. I said 3 1, but I was more in hope than actual reality. I was going into that game very nervous and very worried because we know Palace at home, eight o'clock on, you know, they, they were going to be up for it. And they've got a good, fluid front three. Uh, you know, Zaha, Elise, and. Um, and as a good players, good technicians can move the ball around. And I was a bit scared going into it. First 15 minutes, we looked really good. Then we fell away. They absolutely battered us for the last 10 or 15 minutes. But then in the second half, we turned it on and we just put them to the sword. So good performance, what we'd like to see more of. And yeah, just get us back on track. So it's good. Yeah, I just want to address your viewers. Yes, I know that the Tottenham one had the least views, but they were the three topics we were starting with. So it's third because it was the third most voted for uh, only nine percent of the viewers wanted to talk about Tottenham oh, um, really? that's good that's good yeah I mean <laughs> it's one of those weird weeks for you where you won so it's kind of like man yeah no you know, one wants to talk won. about it yeah, which no, is good no, no, no more Daniel Levy outs and the yeah, yeah, Levy out, no, yeah. no Kaz Kaz Levy out all the way even when we was three and four nil up if you watch the, the game with Sky Sports we were still screaming Levy out so it's always I'm going to put the now. same kind of annotations when it comes to the glaze and people that don't understand stuff. Look, the guy just bought you a shiny new toy in a stadium. How much money? Same thing with Emirates back in 2006. They had to pay a lot of it out for it. They had to suffer a bit with transfers. Not enough money because they had to pay for the stadium. He's put money into your club. He you has, had 170, also... 170 million, yeah, was spent in the summer. I know a couple of them players were from January, but they still count because they still bought them and he said yes to them. He spent some good money on you boys. It's also a lot of false promises and he's also led us down a false dawn yet again. When we moved from White Hart Lane to Wembley, we were told that it wouldn't attract, uh, affect transfer budgets. Pochettino would still have money to spend. We went two windows without spending a penny. That's unheard of. Never been done before. Poch still worked his magic and got us into the Champions League fighting. In the end, it fell away. We've been told, you know, when we moved to the new stadium, with all the money coming in, the increased revenue in, in, in seat sales, uh, increase obviously that the stadium's open longer. We've got Guns N' Roses concerts, Lady Gaga concerts, boxing this, NFL that, and still we're struggling to raise thirty five million to buy a fullback. So Kaz, I don't want to hear it, man. It's, it's, no, it's, it's, man, it's, you got fifty uh, million. Lady Gaga, you know, it's true. Know. It, it's true. You guys are basically the the new O two more than a football club now. It's Literally. crazy. I, I want to ask Cow a question. I want to ask Cow a question, oh, though. Leave me alone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me sit in the corner, brother. Just <laughs> Allow me, Terry, bro. <laughs> Allow me, my guy. Let me ask you this. Are Liverpool going to catch Tottenham? Because I know you had a bad result the other night, but it's, I feel like you two are the leaders of the chasing pack of the big boys this season. Like, will you finish above Tottenham at the very least? I don't. I, no, Terry. I, I was very consistent from the beginning of the season. If we had got a centre midfielder in the summer, I generally think we would have been competing for the league. I said before going into January, if we do not get a centre midfielder in January, we're not getting top four. We're not getting top four as things stand. Like Gakpo, good signing. Just good in my opinion. We're not getting top four. We're not better than the teams above us. There's a reason we are where we are in the league. Like we've conceded the most big chances this season. We've got the worst conversion rate of big chances. Like this is not a coincidence. Our midfield gets run through. I was going to use an analogy. I won't. But our midfield gets run through. Put it that way. I, I, I diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened to Melo? Love a girl, what are you doing there? We're starting a really good point here because. You know what? If I just jog my memory just a little bit, I'm pretty sure Tottenham won the transfer window. I'm pretty sure Liverpool dropped 100 M on Nunez. I just, we I don't know what the violin for. What are the violin for, darling? Colleen, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Colleen, don't do that. We didn't spend it's 100 million on Nunez. Well, technically, you did in Europe. Let's go! Come on!
Yeah. We didn't I spend mean, 100 million on Nunes. We spent okay. 64, hey. rising hey. to 100 million oh, what, euros. What about Nunes? I need to hear from you. Oh, 100 bro. million. I, I, I want wrong. your opinion on Nunes, uh, Cal. You're not a liar. You're an honest guy. Because I'm hearing Captain Chaos like that's a good thing, right? I'm hearing the misses aren't a problem from a lot of Liverpool fans. How do you see it? Coppish are the most honest Liverpool channel on the internet, in my opinion. That's why I've always backed you guys. Yeah. What's your opinion on Nunes? The misses are a massive problem. Anyone who says they're not, I, I don't get. Like, with all due respect to other Liverpool fans, I can't sit here and speak for all Liverpool fans. I can only speak for myself. And it, it feels as though we're babying Nunes. What I will say is... I think a lot of the criticism has been very overboard because it fits the narrative. You see in big accounts like Domino's and stuff like that tweeting and, and yeah, on the surface is banter, but when you've got these same companies talk about mental health issues, it's like, yeah, let's let's draw it back a little bit. So I do think it's gone a bit overboard, but at the same time, I can't sit here as a Liverpool fan after years of cussing Timo Werner then turn around and say, ah, oh, it's calm because he's making good runs and he's opening up spaces because he's a, he's effectively there to put away the chances that he's getting. I said from the beginning when we signed Nunes, we're not going to see the best of Nunes this season. Might not even see the best of him next season. It might be the season after. The problem with that is, will we have a team good enough for him when he hits his peak? And will he want to stay when he's in his peak? Because we might not be a good enough team. So Nunes isn't the guy right now, but again, where I do feel sorry for Klopp is I don't think Nunes was meant to come in and be the guy straight away, which meant to be Jota, and Nunes was meant to be easing his way in, but because of the injuries to Jota, etc., Nunes has been fast-tracked and it hasn't worked. We're in a bad way, in a very bad way. Oh. Oh, oh, whatever you like, that, was a, that was a lovely monologue there, Cal. That was yeah, lovely. Uh, 67 million pound substitute. I don't mm. know. I ain't having it. I never said he would be a substitute. Like, Cal, Cal we, we said it on your channel yesterday, man. What oh, about okay. Pep Linders? I see, I see what this is. I see what this is. It's, a, it's, a, it's what the second is. one. It's the second um, scapegoat. Pep Linders, uh, the only assistant oh, okay. manager in history to get so much... You guys, know, you guys took in this bullying campaign. You're all right. You just... All right. Go on, go on, go on. Why is it like... You said it, so I want you to explain it in front of all these guys that doesn't watch uh, doesn't watch Coppish, which you guys mm. should. Um, why Pep Linders, man? Why not Klopp? Oh no, f uh, bro! I'll be honest. I'm in a lot of bad books with a lot of Liverpool fans right now because I've been calling out Klopp. I've been calling out Klopp since the summer, and it's it's not going down well. So Klopp, for me, for me, FSG is still hold the the greatest percentage of what's going wrong. But Klopp's not far behind and Klopp's overseeing Linders. So Klopp takes the Linders smoke as well. Because if basically I've got two kids, if my kids start doing a madness in the house, effectively it falls on me because I'm meant to be keeping them in check. So that's where it kind of boils down to Pep Linders. Pep Linders is doing a madness behind the scenes, it seems. But if he's being allowed to do it, then I, I blame Klopp for that. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't Pep Linders around, sorry, when you won go. the league? And, um, sorry, and you won the Champions, Champions. League? Yeah. And you were, yeah. um, sorry, you were challenging City for a number of years. Is that the same Pep Linders? The quadruple the man. The quadruple oh, is it, man. Is it yeah, the same yeah, lad? The that one who spoke? It's the same lad? Yeah. Oh, That's right. Cool. Okay, okay. Just wanted to make sure. I haven't spoken to you in a long time. I'm genuinely <laughs> asking you a genuine question. No insult to injury. Is this the end of a cycle? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. So it's done. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Say again. So it's done. You don't see you don't see you guys even trying to hold on to it and bandaging it like Tottenham do. But whoa, little side shot there. <laughs> um I mean I don't I don't know what there is to bandage a gal, bro, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> what what's there to bandage? You said it yourself, the midfield. Couldn't you guys get midfielders in, in this summer? I mean, in the January. Oh, was, if it was up to I mean, me, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I remember by your oh. they can't spend money though, uh, 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 a gal, because spending money on rebuilds is bad. Yeah, by so the way, a gal, a gal, you're forgetting one thing. A gal, a gal, they'd it's rather official. get 35 million Gakpo rather than a midfielder in right now. That's <sighs> ridiculous. 50 million it's, Gakpo, sorry. I mean, it's crazy. I'm hoping your hijack of Gakpo ends like your hijack of Darwin, because I'm so glad we kept Rashi and you guys got Darwin, because the levels aren't comparable, but. Cole, you put on a great point. I've seen Liverpool fans shamelessly blaming Pep Linders for this. So for me, I want all the praise for those trophies to go to Pep Linders as well. If he's influential enough to ruin your club, 
he must be influential. He must be more important than Jurgen Klopp. Has to be. Surely. So the reason why I think Linders is getting a lot more smoke than he was getting praised is because, the, look, I'll just be real. It's the book in it. Like, he did a press tour in the summer when he should have been on the training field coaching players. Like, I, I've never seen a number two talk as much as him. He, he's P. Diddy of Liverpool Football Club right now, dancing in the videos, in the background, popping champagne. I don't want to see that for my assistant manager. With all due respect, I want to see my assistant manager sit down, celebrate goals and cuss players when they're not doing what they're doing. I don't want to see them doing book tours, doing YouTube videos about tactics we use to beat Barcelona, doing flipping interviews all the time he gets a chance like talking about how Arsenal wanted to get him at, uh, to Arsenal to be Arteta's assistant manager I only hear that why are you talking why are you in the media more than Klopp so that's part of the issue plus it feels as though we've had a change of tactics and if you look at how Pep Linders was playing in Holland with his team it's very similar or identical to how Liverpool are playing he got sacked for playing how he was playing in Holland, but he seems to be getting all the control in the world. And the reason why I believe he's getting control is because I think he's being groomed to take over from Jurgen Klopp. And if that happens, Terry, I love this channel. You will not see me on here, bro. <laughs> man's getting groomed. The fact you've used the word groomed as well is hilarious. Like, man's getting groomed, bro. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. This, this super chat here says apparently Liverpool um, are in for Mateus Nunes and it's almost done. If true, I don't understand why. We can't just buy him support in Lisbon. He can't play till till summer though. We can't play him till next season because he can't be registered for free clubs. It's stupid. <laughs> like it's stupid. Why would you go and get him when you could have got him in the summer? Yeah. It, Klopp it's... turned him down. Klopp turned him down. He was he was waiting for Liverpool, hence why he didn't make a move to another club. He was waiting for Liverpool. We turned him down and look where we are now. And, and now for on Harvey Elliott is a right. Said, the same thing. Pep, Linders, is Pep Linders said yes to it now. <laughs> I said the same thing about Woodrick as well. I said Arsenal could have got him in the summer, but I decided to opt not to, and they could, could have gone for cheaper. Now, look, it happens. It is, it um, I was going to ask one more thing. Michael Edwards leaving. I'm seeing a lot of Liverpool fans blaming that on how your recruitment and your, everything's changed since since then. Do you, do, you, do you agree with that? No, the recruitment. The, all right, so Michael Edwards' job is to bring a list of players to Jurgen Klopp and Pep Linders, whoever it be, and say, do you want these players? Which ones do I go in for? Michael Edwards did his job. Julian Ward's been doing his job. Every player that Klopp's wanted, he's got. He's got in. That's the job. His job isn't to go and be a scout and, and build a team. And that's Jurgen's job. So if Jurgen says, go and get this player, please, and Julian Ward goes and gets the player, Julian Ward's done his job. For me, it's very telling that Michael Edwards leaves, Julian Ward comes into the role, and it is now leaving at the end of the season. That, for me, is very telling. The fact that you've lost two sporting directors in the space of 12 months. That is damning on the team and the squad. And, sorry, not the squad, the, the backroom staff. That's damning. Clearly, they're not listening to them, then. Well, it, it's, but also, you've got to remember, like, they're on their way out as well, FSG. I think that's the saving grace for Liverpool. Are they, bro? Are they? Yeah, they'll, they'll go. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they will go, in my opinion. Uh, Wayne Sage here says, I thought Spurs had the best summer window. Do you still agree with that, Patrick, that you had the best, you, that you won the summer transfer window? Six I cents. Never, I, I never said we did. I don't know where. Like, uh, you and George, you and George, you no, and no, George no. We, came we had on. a good window, but I never said we had the best window. Um, I never said that. So some Spurs fans did. I agree. Some Spurs fans said we were challenged. George said we were challenged. I said, no, we, we wouldn't challenge. We'd be in the full top four, which we are. So yeah. we, we address certain place issues. Or, or prob, uh, holes in the squad, and obviously there's other sides that we didn't. So, yeah, um, not not all Spurs fans thought that. Mm. Yep. Uh, Did you not it... call it a fantastic window? Oh my god, I can't remember what word I used. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Reason why you said that. 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 The reason why I say that is because on July 19, 2022, Fuck you, no. you, you tweeted out, you... poking fun of Gooners, and you're saying, uh, and, and you use those words, so I'm just saying. Okay, wow. fair enough, but to say you, we won the transfer summer, summer transfer window, I never said that. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I, I back it. I don't. I wasn't there, but I back it. You hundred percent said that. <laughs> uh, Bowley would try and win the league the same as he as he has done uh, does with the the Dodgers. Spend big and hope they win the league. The same thing he does with the Dodgers. Three World Series, 
finals one win is what honestly now, i don't know if getting to three world series finals and winning one of them is a good or bad or a different thing i have no idea because um i don't watch uh, rounders so um i don't <laughs> know I, I, I went to a baseball game <laughs> oh, that was very good why is there a world series when it's only based in america like yeah, well, we're not we're not going to get into American sports because yeah. that's a whole other thing. You know, I, learned, I learned when I was at the baseball. You know, like monkey nuts, where you get the peanuts inside the shell. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You eat the shell of them. They're, the shell's really nice. It's like really salty really? and savory, like a like a salty crisp. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think I'm, I'm not even capping. Like legit, the guys that try it, I ate it. I was like, it's really good. Makes you want beer. It makes you want drink really quickly, but it's really good. Um, but there we go.